Good day everyone, I'm Janari Santaana and today I am going to discuss the transitional bilingualism. First, let us define the word transitional. From the word itself, transition, it refers to the process or the stages of changes that is happening to the uh, particular thing. And when we say bilingualism, uh, once again, it is a common phenomenon which uh, refers to the ability to speak or understand two languages or the regular use of the languages. And when we combine these two terms, transitional bilingualism now is referring to the process in which the learners learn two languages from time to time or the students must learn their mother tongue before proceeding to the second language. Now, let us proceed to its characteristics. The first one is it focuses on English language proficiency. Unlike bilingual education wherein it focuses on developing English fluency and literacy, and develop and maintain students' oral fluency and literacy in the mother tongue language, Transitional Bilingualism is an English language program which focuses mostly in learning English language. But still, mother tongue is can be used if it is needed to decrease students' stress and for the learners to understand the lesson more clearly. The second characteristic is goal is to prepare students for English-only classes wherein uh, students were taught in their home language before proceeding in English-only instructions. Third, English and home language are used during instruction. To have a better understanding regarding a topic that was taught by the teachers, using English and home language is an effective way during instruction in order for the teachers to explain the lessons more clearly and for the students to understand the lesson more easily. Its fourth characteristic is home language instruction gradually phased out when English learners develop English proficiency. While the students are in the process of learning the English language, this will be the start of the transition wherein the students are starting to minimize the usage of their home language and focus on developing English proficiency. And then the fifth one is teachers must be proficient in both languages. Since that the teachers will serve as a guide or the foundation of the English learners so that he or she should have the mastery of both the student's home language and English language for him or her to facilitate the learners more effectively. And then the last is it is open use by schools with a large group of students speaking the same language. Now, let us further discuss its pros and cons or its advantages and its disadvantages. First advantage is transitional bilingualism is effective with English learners from primary to secondary school because home languages are seen as instructional tools, not barriers to learning. Or the mother tongue of the students will serve as a foundation because it will be a guide in learning before proceeding in English language teaching. Another is students also understand content instruction more because teachers often teach in English language learners' home language if there is enough overlap among students. This means that teaching and learning process will be more effective if teachers adjust their language for the better understanding of the students. For example, in a classroom, most of the students inside of it are have the same mother tongue or it will be easier for them to use their first language before taking up the process of proceeding in English-only instruction. And then lastly, students feel less stressed by school. It is because they are allowed to use their home language in a new setting. And as a result, they will be more productive and they will they can collaborate with their peers by using their home language wherein they are comfortable to use and they can find it easier in facilitating themselves. And now let us proceed to its cons or its disadvantages. First disadvantage is this model explicitly values English over other languages. Since that it is about learning the second language, it focuses more on English language proficiency. But still, it is more culturally inclusive practice than other program models because you never left your first language since that it is what you are using as a tool or foundation in learning your second language which is the English language. Another is transitional bilingualism is also more difficult to implement. It is because of the language that is used by the majority of the people who surrounds you is your first language. 
Language transition will be more difficult if there are only small numbers of people who are using the second language or the English language. For example, I am a native Filipino speaker. It will be harder for me to learn English language if the people around me use a Filipino language, which is my first language. That would be all for today. Thank you.